Welcome back to the show. A lot of you have asked me already about seeing vegan recipes on the channel. So here it is, and we're coming in with a bang, with a recipe that I love, that have made so many people happy over the years, my coconut curry and butter squash soup. All vegan, all delicious, and perfect for the winter. So let's go. All right, so let's go through all the ingredients that we have. We have the butter squash that I've roasted for about two hours with the skin on. After a couple hours, just peel the skin and you have a beautiful and sweet butter squash. We have an onion, a shallot, we have some coriander, pumpkin seeds, curry, ginger, chilies, coconut milk, olive oil, white wine, some broth, you could make your own, and some black pepper. That's all we need for today. We're gonna start by grabbing our veggies. So we're gonna start with the onions. And what we wanna do is to peel everything first because we want to do the dirty part before the clean part. So we're going to take the shallots, do the same thing. And then we're going to just peel it off, put it aside. Same thing right here. And then with the shallots. You know what easy that is? Okay, so we'll just clean that up. Then we're gonna take our ginger. So, ginger, little tricks. Don't peel it. You're gonna waste way too much. It's really hard to get to all the crevices. So, what you're gonna do is just take a spoon and then you're just gonna simply scrape it, just like that. You can go the other way around as well. So you're gonna get into like all these little bits that you see and not waste any of it. So when you're done with the ginger, you have all this beautiful skin. It smells so good. It's actually flavor. You should not throw that away. The best bet, just line it up in the oven, turn it off and let it dry out. You can then blitz it and you can add it to your salt. So you have a beautiful ginger salt or even into a tea. Just steep the skin and you have beautiful flavor of tea. Always find a way to not waste. So we'll put that aside for another recipe. We're just gonna clean our board and we're gonna start dicing up. So, it's a soup. Don't need to be fancy. So we're just gonna take our veggie, remember the knuckles so we don't cut our fingers. And then I'm just gonna slice away. It doesn't have to be super thin this time. So just like that is absolutely okay. Same with the onion. Remember, a sharp knife, no crying. That's the rule. There you go. With the ginger, I want to be a little bit thinner, only because it's very fibrous and it will cook. It will take a little more time to cook rather than the onion and the shallot. So we're going to try to be quite thin. Okay. And that will go into the pot. So now we're going to start cooking. All right, so we're going to start by eating the pot with some olive oil. Be generous. There we go. We're going to let that heat up, and when it starts to bubble away, we're going to cook our ginger. All right, so the oil is hot, so I'm going to add the shallots to ginger and the onions. We hear the beautiful singing. And we're just going to let that sweat off with no color. All right, so now we have beautiful, sweat it out. It smells so good in here. I'm just gonna add my curry powder and we're gonna let that toast so it really gets all the fragrance. Look at that, it's gorgeous, isn't it? So from here, I'm gonna deglaze with a bit of white wine. If you don't wanna use alcohol, you can use water or like a stock, it's absolutely fine. And then I'm gonna add some thyme. So basically what's gonna happen is all the little flavor sugar that are stuck in the bottom, they're gonna get lifted up by the steam of the liquid. And so that way when I stir it up, whatever it's in the bottom of the pan, as you can see, it's all gone. It's now in the soup because we definitely do not want to waste flavors. 
So we're gonna let the alcohol cook all the way down. So we wanna reduce it all. When that happens, we're gonna add the coconut milk and then our uh, broth. Uh, it's a vegan soup, so obviously we are using uh, vegetable broth. If you don't want it to make the recipe vegan, you can also use chicken. All right, so the white wine is reduced now. I'm gonna add some salt. Be generous with it again. A bit of pepper. And then I'm gonna add my coconut milk. Before I add the stock, I'm gonna add my squash. So it's already cooked, so we don't need to really cut it up. I'm just gonna put it all in. And I'm gonna add the stock to cover. I'm gonna stir it. Make sure everything is combined. And from here, I'm just gonna cover it. I'm gonna let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, the soup is almost ready to blitz. So before we're gonna work on the garnishes. So I just grab a red chilies. And I'm just gonna do a few slices for the garnish. You could sit them, but I actually like the spice and the heat. So we're just gonna do like super thin slices. Just like that. I'm gonna put them aside. And now we're gonna blitz the soup. Also make sure you clean your knife every time, whether you cut chilies or not. Okay, I'm gonna grab the soup. Mmm, aromas are beautiful. So it cooked for about 15 minutes. So it's actually a fairly simple and fast soup. We're just gonna pour it into our jar. All right, so we're gonna take our blender and we're gonna just pour it into the cup. It's not too full. And then we're just gonna blend it. And we're gonna repeat the process with the whole soup. And we're just gonna pour the soup into our bowl right here to rectify the seasoning. Wow, well, look at the texture. So velvety. And creamy without any cream. That's the coconut milk. So I'm just gonna give it a try. Oh, so sweet. Ginger comes through as a spice, a little bit of heat. It needs a little bit of salt though. So we're gonna add the salt. So gorgeous, have another try. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy. So we're gonna grab our plate. I'm just gonna pour our soup into our bowl. There you go, generous portion. And we're just gonna add the garnishes. So I have some pumpkin seed that I just toasted with a bit of salt. We're gonna add the chili slices for a bit of eat and color. And then we're gonna grab some fresh cilantro. Just gonna put a good little garnish right here. And I like to finish with a bit of olive oil. And that's it guys. Look at this gorgeous soup, so good. And that's it you guys, another delicious recipe, hearty and comforting, perfect for the winter. And if you like this recipe, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, if you allow me, well, look at the velvety texture. Mm. That is incredible. Texture from the pumpkin seeds, heat from the chilies, and the ginger, a little bit of olive oil. The coconut is very creamy. Wow, that is the best soup you'll ever make. See you soon.